There wouldn't be shit in it. <laughs> what, you mean, didn't Dave's, your family had an experience with a turd? When oh, yeah. My family had an experience with a this turd. This story right? is bizarre. I don't understand how it so, even happened. Uh, I think it was Gatwick, right? Uh, yeah, Gatwick. I'm right in saying. Summer special long stay parking. Yeah, if anybody's going to the Gatwick summer special long stay parking, I would fucking <laughs> summer watch special. out. Because my parents, uh, as you do, you if you live in England, you do, well, I guess this is anywhere, isn't it? You uh, drive your car to the airport, and if you've got nowhere to leave it, or ha- someone hasn't, you know, taken you to the airport yourself, you can actually keep your car in a long stay over at the airport, and they actually take your keys off you. And they park your car, and you leave it there while you're on holiday. Now, coming back, my mother and father came back off the holidays. You know, probably a bit dull because they'd just been away in nice sunny Spain for a week, and they come back a bit like, oh god. Oh, I've got to go back home now. I've got this long drive home. What do you not want when you've got a long drive home? <laughs> Probably a shit in the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> I say bonnet, I meant boot. Probably a shit in the boot. You don't want that, right? Yeah, no, my parents had a shit in the boot. Just steam. They could smell it on the Steamo way home. Steamo like, in the back. Like, my mum, I think they didn't even get out of the car park, actually, because my mum was like, can you smell that? And my dad was like, yeah, well, it smells like shit. And then uh, they went in the back and found this bag of shit in the boot. And uh, my mum, obviously in a rage, brought it up to the counter and just left it there. But it, the, the fucking car apparently stunk did after they, that. Um, Still as shit, it lingered. Did they, when they apologised, did they kind of... I, I don't know the ins and outs of the apology. I don't well, know. Well, if you actually think about this, right. So let's say a worker was absolutely desperate... Uh, I needed what? a shit. Yeah, but why are you shitting then? Pulling someone's car. No, That's obviously a joke. He's not desperate. Oh, no, right. Okay, so this is how I'm thinking it might go. So How's he's it go absolutely down? desperate, and he's, he finds maybe the carrier bag was already in your mum's car. So he was like, "Fuck, I need a shit so bad. I'm literally gonna shit myself. I'm gonna have to shit behind this car." So he gets the the bag out of the boot, shits in it, and he's like, "Right, I'll just put it there while I drive and park the car, which is my job." So he parks the car, gets distracted by a text message or something like that. Or, oh, hey, come over here, you need to move this car now. So anyway, so he's gone done other jobs. So he gets in his car at the end of his shift, drives home, probably drives like an hour home, gets home, has his tea, says hello to his wife or whatever he does, probably watches an episode of Big Brother, gets in bed, sets his alarm for the next day, and then just as he starts drifting off, he thinks, holy fuck! Oh, no! I've left that shit in the boot of somebody's car. <laughs> I mean, when you explain it like that, it's feasible. I would believe you if it wasn't for the fact that they went a year later and then someone pissed <laughs> all over the windscreen. And that's not a joke, ladies and gentlemen. A year later, someone stood what and pissed fuck? all over their fucking windscreen. So I would believe... <laughs> So Where someone, did they take it? Fucking Twycross Zoo. <laughs> someone <laughs> at fucking Gatwick has got a sick mind and they decided just to piss. And I think they're singling out my mum and dad's car. Do you know what? If they did it one more time, maybe they'll come back and there was fucking spunk in the fucking uh, window what, wiper spray. What more? <laughs> oh, that would make, be pfft. smart. That's smart. That's, that's smart. That is that's smart. That's loyal. That's smart. Another one. <laughs> Yeah, so they did it a fucking again. That is a great story. Shit, the bed. But then you just absolutely fucking hit it out of the park with pissing on the windscreen. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, they took what could have been like a genuine mistake. I can't. I've got no way. And then it turned into a, a personal attack. I wouldn't know how got to personal explain. Personal vendetta against my mum and dad's fucking car. 